Here in episode two of my one-star team builder dynasty on College Football 25, we're gonna have another doubleheader episode today. If you didn't see the last video, I recommend you go watch it. It should be popping up somewhere on your screen right now. I set up the recruiting board and played weeks one and two against Mississippi State and Kennesaw State, and we got a pretty good feel of how this team might be this season. Now here in week three, we'll be matching up with the Ball State Cardinals. They're 0-1 to start the season. And this is probably the most fair matchup for us this season. This first game will mostly be highlights, and after a week four bye, we'll have some recruiting, and then we'll face Georgia Southern for a full game. And on first down, Bubba Van Claiborne gets a stop in the backfield. Now third down and two. They'll hand it off to Spiegel again, and he'll get the first down, carrying it up to the 41-yard line. Now, first set of downs, doing a RPO out left and got a lot of room down the left side. Collins is giving chase, but he won't catch him. The receiver gets the touchdown and gets the first score of the day. Ball State will go up seven to nothing. Now, Meridian Tech will have a third down and 10 at the 39, but a man open over the middle, that Scooter Simpson breaking a couple of tackles. And using a little bit of power at the end of that play to get it out to the three yard line. It'll be first and goal. And they'll hand it off to their star running back, Vontae West, who gets the touchdown. Meridian Tech will answer and tie this game up. So, start of the second quarter now. Kyle Kelly's got a third down and seven. Got a man over the middle, caught and breaks the tackle. One man to beat, he'll finally get brought down at the 19 yard line. So they were in the red zone, but this flag will push them back. First down and 15, running some play action and brought down quickly by Kobe Garland, picking up his first sack. But a good gain on second down, will bring up third down and 15. Quick pass over the middle, and this will bring up a fourth down and 10, only a gain of five but it will line them up for a perfect kick, and the kick will be perfect. Ball State will go up 10 to seven, and they have the ball back after a failed drive from Meridian Tech, and this is gonna be intercepted. Meridian Tech gets the ball back for their offense. It was third down and four, was likely gonna have to punt either way, but now they have good field position. Crowder looking over the middle, this is caught by Coop Andrews. Able to maintain it through the contact. Good catch out there. Second and goal now from the four. They hand it off to Vontae West, and he'll get the second score of the day. 14 to 10 is the score now. And Ball State will get the ball back with one minute to go here. Already at the 33-yard line. He's going to look out right and got his man wide open. Able to get out of bounds and stop the clock. Kyle Kelly having a good day so far. First and goal from the four. The clock is winding. Kyle Kelly got his man in the end zone. So Ball State will get the lead right back and go up by three once and more. 14 to 17 with 25 seconds and they've got a man wide open. Meridian Tech snags the lead back from Ball State. Quick score from Meridian Tech with not much time left to go in this one. In this half, I mean. But we will be skipping forward into the fourth quarter now. The score has not changed. And on a fourth end goal from the seven, Ball State is going to go for it. Trying to scramble out to his left, Kobe Garland says no and gets his second sack of the day. Seven minutes and 40 seconds to go here. Kyle Kelly's got a man over the middle. And he has had a really efficient day so far. 18 of 20 passing, two touchdowns and almost 300 yards. He's got a good pocket here. He's gonna scramble out to his left all the way into the end zone. Bubba, Bubba Van Claiborne had a shot at him, but I took a bad angle on my user. And Ball State will take the lead once more. But now jumping forward once again, we got the ball here at the six yard line. And Crowder's gonna hand this one off to Strickland on first and goal. And we'll take the lead back from Ball State again. The lead has flip-flopped today so many times. Only up by three here. 
two minutes to go in this one. Ball State's got it third down and 10. Very good pocket. Finds a man wide open and he'll get the score. Once again, the lead has flip-flopped. The defenses can't get stops. Now, first and 10, this is gonna be a sack loss of five. Crowder did not need that to happen, but ran the play action, defender got it. Now looking right side, and this will seal the game. Ball State intercepts it. And that was a good read, just underthrown. If Crowder had put a little bit more touch on that one, it would have been over the defender's head for Hunter Law. That would have been a good game. Vontae West had a good game, 16 for 90, 5.6 yards of carry and two scores. His best game on the season so far. Scooter Simpson led the way in yards and tied for receptions with six. On defense, Bubba Van Claiborne, my user for TFLs, one and a half sack. And then Kobe Garland led with sacks with two. But Bubba Van Claiborne does get a player of the week, so that should be good for his XP, I believe. And Nate Madden, he is number one on our list. He's my number one prospect as well. Out of Meridian, Mississippi, a town where our school is based. And he is already ready for a visit. So we're taking in the house off and we'll schedule him for this week against Georgia Southern. I want to get the lead as quick as possible. The biggest lead that I can as quickly as possible. And if you see right here, we already have two check marks revealed for Harry Him, and one is an A plus is playing time, something that's very important to him, and also playing style, which you can see will match with time to get to work. You can assume that that A plus will be proximity to home, it'll be his third green check mark. So we send the sway to him, 20 points. And then now looking at Doug McCaskill, a four star wide receiver on my board. We are first for him, sending the house as well. And taking a look in the Sun Belt, Georgia Southern is above us currently at 0-4. They've had a tough time getting wins, it looks like. 42 points their defense allowed two weeks in a row. And then they lost to FCS and then played Ole Miss 48-24. Ole Miss was ranked opponent as well. Their best player is Jalen White, a running back. He's a pretty good shifty guy. Got a little bit of power as well. On defense, they got a defensive end in Deshaun Davis, but he is coming into this game with some injury concerns. Jalen White lasts, or so far this season, two rushing touchdowns and 91 yards so far. You gotta think they wanna get him some more carries, get him more involved in their offense. On first down, they try, but only a gain of one. Now looking to pass it to their big wide receiver. Third down and six now for Georgia Southern. They're running the no huddle and not on the same page with this receiver there. This will be incomplete. Georgia Southern has to punt the ball to Meridian Tech. They get their first possession here. And dangerous pass caught by Vontae West, juking back inside and carrying a man out of bounds with him. And here, Deshaun Davis, their best defender on the D-line, goes down. Looking out right, this will go out of bounds on third down. So Meridian Tech is in field goal range, but coach does not want to kick from here. Now complete over the middle. Scooter Simpson makes a man miss. Got a lot more on the right side. Good game. Scooter showing the shifty moves that he has. And they're going to give him the ball here on third down and goal on the jet sweep. Trying to get some blocks and he'll try to fight his way into the end zone. And coach wants to go for it here. They already went for it once. Now looking for a pass in the end zone for Hunter Law and that'll be dropped. That could have been dangerous. That could have been a pick six. So now Georgia Southern got the ball at the two. And he's going to be met in the end zone. This will be a safety. Meridian Tech will go up by two and then kick a field goal. So up by five now. Georgia Southern gets the ball back in a loss of two. Still wanting to run the no huddle offense. Second down and 12. Handing it off to Jalen White. Already seen a couple of carries so far here today. He'll get those two yards back. Third down and 10, now looking in the way up the seam. I forgot his name for a second there. 
but Georgia Southern will punt the ball away after the incompletion. Crowder looking right side, Hunter Law, good throw. Put it where the defender couldn't get at that time. But it's third down and nine for Meridian Tech. At the 37 yard line, some pressure coming, screaming off that right side. They sent the defensive back, DeAndre Morris, to safety. He'll get the sack and end that drive. Now in the red zone for Georgia Southern, who's got some pressure from the defensive tackle. That's Boogie Garrison. He's our one of our better defenders, maybe our highest rated on the defensive line, actually. And this will be caught converting and moving the chains. Big gain through the air. Now from the five, they'll hand it off to Jalen White, and he'll be stopped. Nowhere to go on that one. Brought down by Chase Freeman. And on second down and goal, they'll hand it to the running back once more, and he'll finally get the score. He's been looking for one today. They have fed him the ball so far. And now they got possession in the red zone once more, and this will be intercepted this time. The red zone defense steps up and gets this ball to our offense. Down by two with just less than two minutes to go in this one. From the 29, we'll run some bubble RPO action here. I like that play a lot. Third down and one now. Crowder looking left side for Hunter Law, who gets out of bounds. It'll stop the clock, gives us some time to talk it over. Now Crowder not able to see the pressure in time and gets sacked. We'll use the timeout. Now third down and 23, taking a deep shot for Coop Andrews, who gets it. Moving the chains down to the 31, and we'll call the hurry up offense, wanting to hold on to that timeout. So, first and 10, Crowder's going to step up and scramble this one. Got a lot of room up the middle. Doesn't slide and takes the contact. But not able to do anything else with just five seconds to go. We kicked the field goal to make this 8 to 7. This has been an interesting game so far. Not many rushing yards in this one. A lot of passing yards from Meridian Tech. We get the ball to start the second half. We'll hand this one off to Vontae West on first down. Gets a good block on the right side. Cuts it back inside and breaks a tackle. If he had shed that one, he could have been off to the races. And he is on fire right now. Running some I-4 now. They'll hand it off to Vontae West. Trying to follow his blockers. And he will get another first down on that carry. 10 carries for 69 yards in this one. Second and two, they'll hand it off to him again. Got a good block, cuts it out left side and breaks the tackle. Trying to fight his way into the end zone. He'll get it up to the five though. Second and goal, Strickland will check in for him. Ready and Tech running some option. Crowder will keep it and take the contact to get into the end zone. Love to see the physicality from our quarterback. And we will extend our lead. 15 to seven now. Hanging this one off to their backup running back. Jalen White is not in the game right now. That is Arnold and they keep him out here for this screen pass out right. Gets a good block, but then quickly brought down. And Meridian Tech called a timeout thinking that they weren't about to kick a field goal. Thinking they were gonna hurry up offense. But now Spencer Strickland gets hit hard and fumbles it, but it goes out of bounds. So we'll hang on to possession here and trying to get this one to Scooter Simpson, but it'll be intercepted. Bad turnover there. Down by five. DeAndre Morris gets the ball back to his offense. Meridian Tech trying to send some heat, but this one will be caught outright and it'll be a first down. Georgia Southern calling the hurry up offense. They've been doing it all day and this will be caught out left for Jalen White who scampers into the end zone. No one could stop him. He's got pretty good speed, man. And he needed to go for two to go up by three and they'll convert it. So 18 to 15 is the score now. We'll hand this one to Vontae West. He's had a really good game so far. And he'll pick up another first down taking a lot of contact at the end of that play. He is over 100 yards now. And running some RPO bubble action again. This will be caught by Foreman who gets out of bounds. 
Three minutes to go here in the third quarter. Andre Crowder stepping back really far and finds Scooter Simpson who was wide open. Flying down the middle of the field. He'll get caught inside the 10. Down at the 8. And now again a 4 on first and goal. So it's second and goal now from the 4. A lot of pressure on the right side. And he's, he, I guess that's his blind side. Crowder didn't see it once more. So third and goal. Crowder stepping up in the pocket this time. He's going to evade the pressure. Crowder will take the lead from Georgia Southern with his legs. And now a loss of five. Boogie Garrison getting his second sack today. Third and 15 for Georgia Southern. Trying to play some zone coverage here. And Chase Freeman brings down Jalen White. Had some pressure on the quarterback and he had to dump it off. Now a botched throw, but Scooter Simpson able to get it before the cornerback intercepts it. An injury for Georgia Southern will cause a timeout. And they'll hand this one to Vontae West on first down and 10. Plowing forward. Gain of nine. Good play on the draw. Now running some inside zone and no one's there to block the linebacker, but Vontae West fighting through, showing good power today. We haven't really seen it in the first video, but today he's showing that good ability. And this will be intercepted and returned all the way. Vontae West came out with an injury. And that brought out the senior quarterback, and he will throw a pick six. So now down by three, but Crowder is back in. Throwing the wide receiver mid-screen to Foreman. He'll pick up the first down. Eight minutes to go in this one. It looks like Meridian Tech's trying to run some clock here. And Vontae West going to break away for some pressure and shed a couple more tackles. And getting out of bounds. Now it's third down and seven for Meridian Tech. Hunter Law will catch this and a good catch and run for the tight end. Getting this all the way to the 21. Five and a half minutes to go here. We're skipping forward a little bit more. Three minutes and 40 seconds now. Third and six and Coop Andrews gets the score. This offense trying their best to keep us in this one, but the defense has got to get a stop. Up by four. Three and a half minutes to go in this one. And this will be caught for the tight end. Chase Freeman can't keep up with them. And one on one coverage. Looks like Meridian Tech wanted to send some pressure here, but they run it with Jalen White. He'll get a gain of five and they'll call the no huddle. Second down and five now, handing it off again. He's got a lot of room up the middle, breaking some tackles and a bad miss on the cornerback. That's Malik Moon. And Jalen White will put us to bed. So he thinks we still got time in this one. Down by three, we'll hand this off to Vontae West, who is a little bit on the wear and tear side right now, but he's got to stay in for now. Foreman getting a bubble screen here out left, and he's got a lot of space. No one's going to stop him. We will get a score and the lead back. Maybe a little bit too quick. Georgia Southern still has time, but maybe our defense can get a stop. We only have one timeout. Georgia Southern has all three. And this will be inter no dropped. Our best defender, Chase Freeman, can't intercept it. He has pretty decent hands for a linebacker. Some pressure on the quarterback. Holland couldn't get him. And this will be a fumble out of bounds. Bubba Van Claiborne hits the quarterback hard. So now, down by four. Looking left side, but this will be underthrown. Third down and ten now. Georgia Southern needs to get this here. It's four down territory. He's got a man wide open on the right side. Busted coverage. Now, first and 10 from the 35. Man over the middle, and this is caught. Brought down, but they're in the red zone now. They can't kick a field goal. They got to get a touchdown. Van Claiborne knocks him down. At the eight yard line now, over the middle, and this will be caught in the end zone. Bubba Van Claiborne baited the quarterback into this throw and just didn't jump. But now Meridian Tech down by three. Looking over the middle and this will be intercepted. I couldn't believe it. 
their linebacker got the animation that I wanted my linebacker to get. <sighs> Meridian Tech will lose this one by three points with Nate Madden visiting. And we outdid them in almost every category here. Andre Crowder, two interceptions, two touchdowns, 430 yards, 59 completion percentage. Gotta be more efficient with him. And Vontae West, how about two back-to-back -back games, this one being the best of his season. And Scooter Simpson, over 150 yards. Foreman got over 100 as well with his bubble screens. He was very good on those plays. And on the defensive side, Boogie Garrison, two sacks, only sacks of the day for us. Noah Collins had an interception. But Nate Madden visited, and he got a lot of influence that week because of Boogie Garrison getting the two sacks. And no one going after the four-star Jim, Josh Phillip at free safety, and he is able to visit with us, but he's not aligned with my best interest. So if he sways and gets those A pluses into his interest list, we'll get a lot more from his visit. So we will do that first, or before we do any hard selling like that as well. And here for Devin Treadwell, I'm trying to figure out how or what his best interest would be. And I was hoping for the A+, but we see that proximity to home is most likely going to be it because we have two unlocked already and they pair with the proximity to home. Doug McCastle right here has an A plus in playing style, so we'll schedule a visit for him. We also schedule a visit for Josh Soriano, B minus at his proximity to home. And so they will come for the Old Dominion game. Our next opponent will be Memphis. They are a high rated team. I think they're actually the highest rated so far we played. They're higher rated than Mississippi State. And they beat Florida State. So we got to watch out for these guys. They've got a lot of players in the 80s. They got an 89 overall impact quarterback, Seth Heinigan, and he's got pretty balanced accuracies, good throw power, and not bad mobility. On defense, they've got Chandler Martin, an 85 overall linebacker, pretty decent in coverage. Got a high ceiling as well, not many skill caps there. But that's going to do it for this episode. I'm not sure if the next one will be a double header. It might just be a full video of Memphis. Let me know what your thoughts on that are in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to smash the like button. It helps let me know that you want to see more episodes. But that's going to do it for this one. Peace.